Not even close to the end, it's just beginning Life is getting lighter while the days are getting brighter, yeah And then to good, I won't even worry anymore Took all my care, still can kick them all out the door I'd like to introduce our uh, presenter It's M.Y. Park He's the Senior Director of Foundry Services with Samsung Thank you so much for joining us today Thank you. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is M.Y. Park uh, of Samsung. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm based on Samsung Sanosi office. Uh, I'm responsible for foundry gen service and enablement. Today, uh, I'd like to introduce Samsung's library and IP offering, uh, especially 28 and the 14 nanometer. OK, before we start the IP uh, readiness and offering, uh, I'd like to introduce that our uh, advanced technology uh, uh, portfolios. First of all, Samsung is a uh, leading edge uh, process developer. Uh, we have been work with uh, uh, ISDA uh, collaboration together with uh, IBM and other our partners. And also, uh, we have uh, FabSync with a common platform, especially nowadays we are working uh, together with the uh, Global Foundry and uh, secure the more you know yield and uh, also secure more you know uh, the the volume productions you know so, uh, support our, our, our i mean the capabilities more capability uh, the capacities and also you know samsung is leading still you know uh, leading uh, memory provider so we have a proven uh, process technologies so leverage uh, memory technology uh, uh, synergy and also uh, i mean just want to say that the man, uh, manufacturing capability point of view, we have uh, mainly for the system LSI. We have a uh, big two divisions. One is memory division, the other is system LSI division. We have uh, basically three dedicated lines. Uh, S1 line, which is based on Kihun. Second line is in the Texas Austin here. And the third line is under development in Hwasong. Actually, Hwasong and Kihun is about uh, 10 minutes driving distance. It's almost the same area. So the two lines dedicated uh, system SI in Kihung. One line is dedicated system SI in uh, Texas Austin. And also one of the uh, big differences compared to the, the other foundry is that we provide uh, ASIC design services. We have been working ASIC service more than 25, 30 years. And we have a lot of you know, experience to implement customer's design if customer wants. And also the, uh, we have a uh, uh, in-house, in-house, you see, that's, that is important, in-house, POP and the TSV uh, solutions. So uh, to provide the uh, you know FAP, first of all, we need to provide the design you know uh, develop I mean, design environment to our customers. That there are four key items there: the PDK and the DFM, and also the technology library and IPs. For the PDK point of view, we support from the SPICE, DLC. The, the PCL libraries, SMB cell, ESD kit, and PNL tech file. Full lineups we are ready to support. And the DFM, we have a DFM kit, but at the same time, we can provide the DFM services. You know, some of the customers has a license issues, machine issues, manpower issues. In this case, we can still support the DFM services. And also, the uh, main topic here is that, you know, the, the IP uh, talk. So here that we have a uh, foundation libraries, standard cell I.O. and memory compiler, and the processor uh, libraries, uh, Cortex HDs, M series, you know, a lot of you know ARM uh, processors we can provide. This is uh, I'll, I'll talk later a little bit more, but we are providing, not you know asking to a customer license by themselves. I'll, I'll uh, the point a uh, little bit more later, stress a little bit more later, and also high speed interface IP USB. SARA and also uh, HSIC, lots of the IPs we can provide. And also lastly, the mixing signal IPs. Uh, Samsung uh, Foundry has about 150, 200 uh, the analog core engineers there. So whenever a customer wants that uh, define the spec, based on the spec, we can provide the uh, IP after we silicon verify. So that's one of the strong points of Samsung uh, Foundry. So the PDK, you're probably very much familiar with the, all these items. Important thing is that from the beginning of the, uh, the, uh, the PDK development, we work together with the Cadence, Mentor, Synopsis, you know, major EDA vendors. We you know, early engage with the, uh, uh, the EDA vendors and prepare that, as you can see, that the schematic environment layout, 
environment model spice the the we support the h spice and specter uh, and also uh, the physical verification mainly uh, the mental and the synopsis environment we support uh, and also the the, uh, the cadence tech file of course that the drm is mandatory items so with this, you know, the EDA vendor collaborations, we can provide a full line of uh, the PTK and the uh, uh, PTK environment. And uh, this one is uh, one of the kind of the unique, you know, uh, the support system to our foundry customers. So the, if the customer is here, then we have uh, two types of the IP we can consider. First one is in-house developed IP. As I mentioned to you, that we have a uh, big analog core development team, and also digital IP development team there. This is in-house. The other one is that we also license quite a few IPs, like uh, ARM cores, ARM you know, processors, ARM prime cells, and also some of the you know, SARA-like IPs. We license from the customers. Now, these IPs, you know, in-house IP and the third-party IPs, we need to provide to the customer. How? The, uh, the one benefit of the customer here is that customer doesn't need to deal. Even, of course, Samsung development IPs, customer need to deal with a Samsung, right? But third party development, uh, you know, the licensed IP, still customer doesn't need to communicate with a third party, many of the third parties. They only deal with a Samsung, okay? So Samsung point of view, we do the silicon verify, buy the IPs through the Samsung. So. Uh, customer can, uh, I mean, we can offer as a kind of IP one-stop shopping. That is, uh, is one of the strong points of Samsung Foundry. Uh, even we uh, license the IPs, but we would like to add uh, some values to our IPs. The third-party license uh, the IPs, for example, you know, uh, the, our uh, standard cell libraries we normally license from the ARM. Uh, from the from the 45 nanometer, we uh, have uh, started licensing from ARM. Now that those uh, you know kind of common platform IPs like uh, standard cell, memory, and the general IOS, of course, they developed and we are using, and also we provide to the customers. But to add up the you know value, we uh, add some uh, special uh, standard cell libraries like uh, pulse based uh, preflops to increase that ARM core performance. And also, like a rather wide range of the uh, the IOs. Basically, uh, the standard offering from the uh, ARM library is uh, maximum interface voltage is 2.5, but we'd like to expand that uh, interface voltage to make uh, you know backward compatibilities. We support 182, 3.3 volt, you know, full uh, coverage IOs, and also fiber tolerant too, and also faster you know uh, the uh, uh, SSTL IOs to support the DDR2.3. And also, if use and OTPs. So, even though we license some of the you know foundation libraries, but we add uh, some values. Uh, this is the our 28 and the 14 nanometer uh, foundation libraries, uh, the lineups. So, uh, basically, that the blue, uh, red, uh, the black uh, font is we just license from the ARM, and uh, the blue font uh, is we prepared uh, by Samsung as a value added. So here that, as you can see here, that this is wider range of the IELTS up to 3.3 .3 volt interface, and the E-Fuse and the OTP we support. And also the mainly the nine track libraries for the normal logic implementations, but 12 track libraries, of course, customer can use for the really high speed areas as well, but normally we use 12 track libraries for the ARM uh, core uh, implementation to increase the performance. That is the foundation libraries. Now that the real, you know, the the the, the IPs, uh, we have a, a master license with our uh, ARM, so we can whatever ARM uh, developed, uh, you know, uh, announced the IPs, we can immediately provide the customers after hardening. So. Customer doesn't need to worry about the uh, ARM core performance or the quality because Samsung do the hardening and develop uh, provide the customer with a uh, hardened IP with a timing accurate uh, model as well as timing, and the system IPs, lots of the you know prime cell libraries, memory controllers, and the peripheral IPs, and the uh, high speed interfaces that the PCI SATA, USB 2.3, 
all those IPs ready. And the uh, standard cell library, I already mentioned that IO cell, mixed and signal IPs, mo mainly we develop, but still we are licensing uh, from the other, other IP uh, providers. Uh, now, the, the CPU cores up to 20 nanometer, you know, most of the IPs is already uh, uh, the ready to uh, provide to customers. So 20 LPP, we have uh, about uh, the A15 quad core, uh, 1.5 gig. Uh, also, the other uh, A15 quad core, as you can see, you know, you may think, of, oh, you have a 1.5 gig there. Why you have another 1.35 gig? Because of the 1.35 gig, obviously, low leakage, right? So depends on the customer's demand. We optimize IPs, and we provide depends on the customer's you know, need. That's the uh, uh, difference. And the A9, A7 cores, you can easily imagine that this is kind of a you know, big little you know, matching there. And the uh, A7 quad core also, we have a, a lower speed one. And the 14 nanometer, to uh, moving forward, 64-bit architectures, we are planning to have a uh, uh, a57, 1.65 gig target, 14 nanometer by mid of the next year, and A53 uh, by uh, mid of the uh, next year too. Actually, that's the uh, all for today's my presentation.